Your mental health is absolutely unacceptable. And you're not alone. Around 20% of the world's children and adolescents have mental health issues. So this is a serious problem you have. And here are the top 5 reasons you have it. The last one is the most important, so stay tuned. So the first thing that keeps your mental health low is instant gratification. And it is literally the worst thing that happened to our generation. I was a complete addict just a year ago, and now I'm fully cured. So let me show you how. Instant gratification is a hobby like porn or video games that immediately spikes your pleasure, but right after you stop doing it, your dopamine goes down and down and it goes lower than what it was before. So obviously, this can make you depressed. And uh, it's not the goal. And like it wasn't enough, porn reduces your testosterone, which correlates to reducing your mental health. Now, to make an improvement in your instant gratification problem, what you need to do is simple. You just need to slowly decrease the amount of time you fap or you play video games. So for example, if right now you're fapping two times a day, well, next week, make it one. And the other week, make it one out of two days, etc. Don't worry about getting a no-fap streak. Focus on slow rehabilitation instead. And you have to do the same with video games. These things, they are not hobbies. They are drugs that you are addicted to. So make it slow and you will cure yourself from your addictions. The second thing that is dangerously affecting your mental health is junk food. I was a junk food addict for basically my whole life. I was obese and super depressed, but now it's fully out of my life and head. Junk food does two major things to your body. It decreases testosterone and decreases your physical health, which are both symptoms of a poor mental health. The thing that helped me the most is training at the gym and staying consistent. The gym absolutely cured my depression and you have to do it too. The third habit that you have to stop right now is not getting enough sleep. Sleep is like recharging your phone for your body. If you are going to use it the entire day, you will recharge it to 100%, right? Well, you need 100% of your power and energy to get depression out of your head and feel the light come in. So for a good night of sleep, you need 8 hours. But you know that. What you don't know is that your sleep is not 100% efficient, but rather 80% on average. So if you sleep for 5 hours a night, you only get 4 hours of efficient sleep. Now, to start sleeping more, you should sleep at least 15 minutes more each week until you get to 10 hours of sleep, which will get you 8 hours of efficient sleep. And the beauty with slow rehabilitation is that if you reduce the amount of time you play video games at night, it creates a gap of time you can use to sleep. I sleep a good 8 efficient hours and it makes me superhuman. The fourth habit destroying your mental health is constant stress and anxiety. This subject is quite sad because your hypocrite school raises awareness about anxiety, yet it puts a shit ton of pressure on your shoulders for your school exam, which to be honest, they do absolutely nothing except ruining your mental health with stress. But lucky for us, it's easier than you think to manage and control it. First, sleep is essential for reducing anxiety and stress. But the best habit that I have been doing for a few months now is meditating. Yes, it seems goofy, but I promise you that it's going to make the change you didn't expect about your mental health. The fifth and last point in my opinion is the most important of them all. And it is the fact that you have no goals. Without a goal in mind, you will not stay consistent in your rehabilitation and you will just keep continuing to do the bad habits that keep your mental health weak. My goal is to become a life-changing YouTuber that actually cares about other people like you who has the average problems of a young generation created by the modern world. I have fully healed myself from these problems and it made my life so incredibly better. It will feel egotistical not to become a spokesperson of the self-improvement movement. All I need you to do is like the video and share it with someone so the algorithm promotes me and then we can save other people from their reality. It is not that far of a dream.